This question comes from N. Murdoch, who was thinking about how the three wise men in the Christmas story followed a star to Bethlehem where they found the baby Jesus. The question is, what if you did walk toward a known star at a fixed speed? What path would you trace on the Earth? Sirius is the brightest star in the sky other than the sun. If the wise men left Jerusalem on December 25th, 1 AD, and walked towards Sirius day and night, even when it's below the horizon, this spiral is the path they follow over the surface. The size of the spiral is determined by how far a person can walk in half a day. If we allow a little theological confusion and assume that the wise men can walk on water, they'll eventually wind up going in an endless circle 30 kilometers in diameter around the South Pole. But let's be a little more realistic. The wise men are hardly going to walk toward the star while it's behind the Earth. Let's assume they only walk toward the star while it's in the sky and the sun has set, but they can still walk on water. In that case, their path actually takes them through Bethlehem. If they don't stop there, after a few years, they wind up circling Botswana. These paths are calculated using, among other things, Pi FM, which provides tools for determining the historical positions of astronomical objects. It's tricky to figure out exactly what the wise men would have been following. There aren't very many good astronomical candidates for the star of Bethlehem. Chinese records don't show a supernova at the right time, and none of the other obvious candidates really check out. And furthermore, there's a lot of historical and theological debate over Jesus' date and even year of birth. The paths in this video are all calculated for a somewhat arbitrary departure date from Jerusalem of December 25th, 1 AD. Different departure dates would lead to different paths, but the overall picture would be roughly the same. What if the wise men followed a planet? Planets move against the background of stars, so the paths they produce are more complex. Here's where the wise men would have gone if they followed Venus. And here's their path for Mars. I like how they apparently look for the baby Jesus atop Mount Everest, which I guess is a logical place to check if you assume he's descending from heaven and stopping at the first land he reaches. If the three wise men had a hover car that could move at highway speed over land and water, maybe it's in the Gnostic Gospels somewhere, and they decided to follow Venus, they would take a particularly weird path. At one point, they wind up near the North Pole in October. There, the Sun and Venus spend months near the horizon, rising and setting, nudging the Magi into a month-long spiral around the Pole, a chaotic strange Magi attractor which would provide a more theological foundation for the story of Santa Claus. Sadly, the three wise men probably weren't following Venus. It's one of the most familiar objects in the night sky, and as the late Sir Patrick Moore observed, if the wise men mistook it for a new star, they couldn't have been very wise. But maybe they're wiser than Sir Patrick gives them credit for. After all, if you pick a random star in the sky, point at the horizon, and predict that there is a baby about to be born in that direction, statistics and birth rates are on your side.